computer. Okay, so I'll just open up the session. Uh, uh, hello, everybody. I need to plug in myself over here because uh, because uh, that's the way it works. So I'm Sid, and uh, uh, you are in a community healer session. My work is about metabolic wellness and emotional wellness. And today we have Saket Rai. Saket is a clinical hypnotherapist. And today's session is about um, about what is called, uh, what is that? Limbic impressions. What is that, Saket? Yeah, yeah. Limbic, Limbic impressions. impressions. So, so, so apparently, apparently, the the experiences we have in the womb and 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 what we encounter there tends to have an impact on the rest of our lives, as including our personality, the way we look at things like risk and trauma and things like that. It also tends to uh, have an impact on that, and therefore uh, continues to change our lives in different ways. Um, so today's session is about. Uh, an attempt to go back to that time, re-experience some of the things from the womb and see whether it might answer some questions. And if you do find some impact, you do find you have further questions, then please do get in touch with Saket, who definitely does one-to-one -one sessions as well. So over to you, Saket. Now I can share. Thanks, 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 Ed. Thanks, Ed. And Sid and I were just discussing before, uh, you know, this form, the session form we opened that Sid had a wonderful session in terms of a hypnosis session he did and he was able to go to the cause uh, in about six minutes for a particular uh, client of his. So hypnosis is something where you, if you really are looking for things, a cause, an emotion associated with anything, it's one of the easiest way to go back and find the cause that is. And now com coming to going the journey back to the womb. Uh, limbic imprints, uh, you know, people have been studying them. There's a correlation between how you feel during your birthing process, what you register, and then as you grow, you carry those impressions along with you. Prenatal psychology is now a field which basically identifies that the mood uh, the nature, the environment that the mother is in, we all know. You know, in India, there's a there's an old saying: if any woman is pregnant, have good thoughts, look at good things, eat good things, all that kind of stuff. But yes, there's a there's a basis for it because whatever the mother is going through, it gets registered, imprinted on the child itself. The journey that we're gonna you know do today. As long as you allow yourself to experience it, you would be able to go back to the time that when you were in your mother's womb, experience some of the emotions that you strongly registered. And if they were something which you don't want, then you can always work with them, remove them, get rid of them and we'll definitely feel a lot lighter in terms of what we have been carrying, what we shouldn't have been carrying for so long. So the process is gonna be a simple one. We're gonna do an induction, uh, a general instructions. As long as you follow the instructions, very simple instructions, all you have to do is follow them. And when you follow them, you'll go into a relaxed state a relaxed state, from that a deep state of trance. Don't worry if your mind is wandering off, it's going off to different things. That's what mind's supposed to do. One of the suggestions that I'm going to give you is that you will keep listening subconsciously to the words that I'm saying. And your subconscious would keep listening to the words that I'm saying, keep following the suggestions, the instructions that I'm giving. And once you start following that, you'll have a full experience. So we'll start from the current age that you have, we'll go down a couple of years, one fourth of your life, one fourth of your life, one fourth of your life, back to the time when you were there in the womb, experience your things and then come back. And before that, we'll do something what we call as creation of a protection or a shield, this would allow you to look at the events 
from a third person points of view we don't really want you to experience those emotions in a group setting had it been a one to one session yes but we don't want to fully expose you to a emotion that is happening at that point of time but you would look at it as if you are watching that happening to a self of yours so there's a little bit of disassociation and everything would be safe and sound great so we are ready to go now ah so keep following my instructions listen to the suggestions that i give and if you allow yourself we'll have a wonderful wonderful experience so all you have to do is find a place where you would not be disturbed for next half an hour i'll give you about 2 3 minutes to do that if you want to take a break go to the washroom do it right now would be the right time you want to drink have a sip of something do that great then i assume that you guys are now in a state where you all are comfortable and then i'll keep giving you suggestions that you should be comfortable and you would be comfortable so all i want is right now close your eyes and start focusing on your breath and as you focus on your breath notice the difference in temperature of your breath as you inhale and as you exhale notice how deep or how shallow are you breathing and now take a deep breath and the deeper you breathe the more relaxed you are and the more relaxed you are the deeper you breathe and our mind being the mind that we have it will wander off think about things that are relevant or not relevant so just allow yourself to listen to the sound of my voice and every other sound around you is everyday sound and would only take you deeper into a deep state of relaxation a trance state where your perception is increased many fold and in a moment not right now but in a moment i'll count from 1 to 5 and with each count allow yourself to double your relaxation whatever way you want to do it make your body loose and limp take a deep breath or whatever thought comes to your mind that this is the way that you would be most relaxed that's right one double your relaxation two relaxation twice the last count three four times four ten times and with number five allow yourself to relax that you've never relaxed so before hundreds and thousands of time deeper and deeper that's right it's a quite safe feeling but you are able to relax everything around you you would notice that you might have senses which are getting extra receptive the sound the noise the feelings the air the sun everything is much more clear now and in a moment not right now but in a moment i'll ask you to imagine visualize or pretend that there is a ball of light in front of you it's exactly the same size as you imagine yourself it could be any color it could be large or small does not matter what matters is that you would be 
easily able to float as i would count from 1 to 5 you'll be able to float into that ball and you will experience safety and comfort and knowing fully well that the journey that we are about to go would be very interesting experiential opening new avenues for you and getting a lesson that you would be able to use all by yourself in this life that's right one imagine that ball of light appearing in front of you give it any color that you want any color that is safe and comfortable two the safety and the comfort is more and more and you feel that you're getting pulled to that ball and you allow yourself to do that three you begin floating towards that ball four take your time and drift right inside the ball feel the safety feel the comfort feel everything that is around you is many many fold enhanced and with five totally in the comfort of the ball that light that gives you safety purpose that's right keep focusing on the sound of my voice keep focusing on your breath and as your mind drifts away allow it to do so it doesn't matter because you have allowed your subconscious to keep listening to the sound of my voice and it would keep having the experience that is required and keep listening to the instructions and the suggestions that i'm giving for the purpose of this session that's right and anything that it doesn't find comfortable it can totally reject and only and only what it finds and it's good interest it would accept and move on that's right floating inside that light ball in a moment not right now but in a moment i'll come from 5 to 1 and with every count allow yourself to move back in time slowly and slowly with each count as i would go back you would be looking at a time which have you already experienced you'll go back 5 years 10 years 20 years i do not know your subconscious know it would show you many steps as i go from 5 4 3 2 1 experience everything as you experience the events that will come across you may have feelings you may hear you may see voices feel anything and everything it's just a process you will be safe in that ball and by the time i'll reach one you'll be at a time when you were a very small baby that's right i do not know where your mind would take you but it could be anywhere between 6 months to a year or even before that or any that and from then then we'll go back again on a different journey back to the womb but right now five go back to a memory that's right and you would be surprised if you don't remember it if you don't know it if you don't see it that's fine just experience the emotions that you are experiencing from the safety and comfort of the light ball that you are in that's right for 
moving further back in time. And as you move back, allow your mind, allow your consciousness, allow your feeling to look at what clothes are you wearing? How you dressed, how do you speak? And three, going still further back. Two and one. Right at the time, a time when you're probably in an early infancy stage. That's right. Watch all that thing happening from the safety of the ball, that light ball that you are inside, safe and comfortable. Notice how you're breathing. Notice how you associate with the images and memory. Keep making a note and you would remember it all when we come back. That's right. And in a moment, not right now, but in a moment, I'll take you back even further. In a moment, I'll now start counting backwards from three to one. And when I'll say one, you'll reach at some point at early stages right after your inception. That's right. Allow it to happen and go there now. Three, two, one. Feel the experience, how you're floating inside the womb. The comfort, that knowing that you're safe and sound and you can experience it, you can feel it. All those memories rushing back to you all those feelings coming back to you. That's right. Sometimes they can be overwhelming. You may laugh. You may cry. There could be a tear of joy or a smile across your face. But that's right. You experience it. Each of you would experience something different, something unique, something which only you would have experienced at that point of time floating freely, enjoying the feeling. And if you would simply expand your consciousness, then you would know what stage you are in. Take your time and experience it. Now that you are in a stage where it is clearly, clearly, clearly your connection to the divine is the strongest. Some of the people really experience, and I wonder if you could experience the same. They experience the sensation, the knowing, the fact, that they have a purpose in this life. And why they decided to choose to be where they are and what they are in the family they are, the life they would live. They've come down with all that information and right in the womb of the mother, you know, you would experience it. How your body would look and feel, your limbs, your face, your hair, how would you look and feel? 
you have decided all by yourself and you will know what you've chosen and why you've chosen. That's right. I'll give you a few minutes or rather a minute to experience this. As you drift in and drift out of this experience, know deeply, see deeply, hear deeply. Hear what you would heard, see what you would have seen, feel what you have felt. Going deeper and deeper with every feeling, every thought, every knowing that you have. That's right. Perfect. The experience is yours. The memories are yours. The emotions that you're feeling, if they're positive and if you want them, you can keep them. And if there's something that you don't want, you can always, always remove them. Because when you go back now as an adult and look at those things, they mean entirely different. So pour all your left to yourself right there in the womb. That's right. And in a moment, not right now, but in a moment, That's right. We'll move you through to the next stage, a stage where you would have grown a bit. You were experiencing something maybe which was brought four weeks of development. Now you would move further as I say go where you about 12 weeks. That's right. That's where you can hear your own heartbeat. That's right. And you would know the reason that you decided to be a male or female in this world. Perfect. And it's your decision. Know the feeling. Take a deep breath and keep experiencing what you are experiencing. And the next stage that we're going to move now would be about 16 weeks.
And before we move on to this, what I want you to do, all the positives that you want to keep, keep them with you. All the negatives that you want to get rid of, you can just by mere thought. That's right. Take another deep breath and keep listening to the sound of my voice. And experience yourself at around 20 weeks. This is the time where you can actually might remember where you can suck a thumb, yawn, stretch, make faces. And feel what you feel to experience these things right inside the womb of your mother. And I'll give you a moment to have those feelings, experience those feelings all by yourself. That's right. That's right. And as you move for about 28 weeks,
you become fully and completely aware of things and voices around you, you can distinguish. And you know everything else that's there. I want you to connect to your mother and feel what she's feeling. There would be so many things, some positive and some negative. But all I want you to do is, for the count of three, focus on just the positive, just the love and the warmth that you have. One, two, three, now. That's it. Feel it filling you. Feel it nurturing you, letting you go. And now we're gonna be at a time just before your birth, somewhere between 36 and 40 weeks, maybe 42 weeks. That's right, you would know. You're fully grown as a baby in a prenatal stage, floating, going down and down and down. And I want you to listen to the sound of my voice and guide you through the process. This is the process, the process of birthing where you experience a child experience, a lot of trauma and shock because it is leaving that safety of the mother womb coming to this world. The excitement all around the shouting, the state of the mother, everything affects you. So I want you to experience it as if you're watching yourself right from the safety of that ball, that white ball that you had placed in, you know, you were inside that ball, safe and comfortable, and you were going to watch now. And I'll let you explore that moment, the moment of birth that you are being born now. See what you would see, hear what you would hear, and feel what you would feel that point of time. But as if you're looking yourself from a detached point, looking from far away, from the safety and comfort of that light ball that you had made for yourself. And things begin to make more sense. Emotions more strong. Feelings heightened. That's right. And in a moment, not right now, but in a moment, I'll come from one to three. At three yourself, you'll find yourself a few days from your birth safe and sound, one, two, three, now. Maybe there's nobody around, maybe there are people, but they would not notice, only the child you were would notice yourself, the adult you, the person that you are right now, in that safe and comfortable wall, approaching that baby. Go ahead. You can even pick yourself. Tell. See how you were. Feel how you were. Connect. And give all the love. 
and comfort that baby. So the, all the process, all the trauma, all the stress that that baby had endured had come to a good cause. You are what you are at this point and you are such a wonderful person right now. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Say thanks. Give all the love that you want to. That's right. That's right. And any stress trauma imprint that, that there's no need to carry it, tell that baby in your loving voice that you've done so well till this point in life, thanking yourself. That's right. In the moment, not right now, but in a moment. We'll bring in the journey back to the current time, the time that we are in right now. And we have decided to leave everything that is not required that we don't want, that is of no use to us, that is negative, to leave behind us. And only get the best of us to this point in time. Focus on your breathing. Feel what you felt, hear what you heard, saw what you see, see what you saw. And another deep breath. And grounding yourself will begin the journey back. In a moment, not right now, but in a moment. As I say, one, two, three, you'll travel the first five years, or first 10 years, the first 15 years, I don't know. Your subconscious would know where it wants to take you when it would. That's right. One, two, three, now. See yourself at some point in your adolescent, and you know, and you remember the changes that you have done through this birthing process, making it more calmer, experiencing the peace instead of all the chaos has made a lot of difference to you. And you can feel it, you can experience it in your actions. That's right. In the moment, not right now, but in the moment, I'll count from one to five. And at five, at, even at five, when you're completely and totally relaxed and back, taking your own time, you'll open your eyes. One, knowing fully well that all the negative impressions, thoughts, emotions that you had during the process, while you were in the womb and during the birthing process and while you were a kid are all gone now. 
They have no control over you. They do not affect you. And all that love that you've given to yourself at that point of time is blooming back, coming back to you many, many fold. Two, being fully aware of things, of the purposes, of the things that you would reveal to you, you would remember them. Three, over a period of time, starting today, starting right now, things will become more and more clear. That's right. For all the energy bodies aligning with each other, and five, taking your own time, retaining all the experience, you can open your eyes with a big, big smile. Yep, welcome back. Longer and longer, okay. <sighs> so I think people are back now. Hello. Arshit, yes, 500 rupees more, please. I really want to say something. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm waving hi. Oh, hi. Anybody would like to share experience? What happened, how it happened, what they felt? Can yes. I share it? Yeah, yeah, please, please. Because each one of you would have experienced it something, something unique to yourself. So I was actually, when it started, I felt like how I was like born and I was clearly seeing my mother's womb and how I was like coming out of that womb, how doctor is taking care of me, what is the situation. Though there were certain things that my mother was very insecure during my time that whether she would have a girl child or boy child. So I removed that insecurity, which is no longer required with the meditation and couple of things. So yes, it was like a trance. I was in a different zone altogether. <laughs> Felt like I, I met my younger self. That's what I can say. Cool. And Monica says, thank you, Saket. Though I was angry all the time inside the pool. Mujhe to, as always, kuch bhi yaad nahi hai. Able to understand more and more about myself. Thank you, Monica. Anger, I hope you got rid of that. <laughs> Ah, Sanjeev says, and good to see myself as a newborn baby and cozy feeling in the womb. That's interesting. Geeta says, thank you, sir. Geeta, you owe me 500 rupees now. Yes, Gauri, all yours. Uh, you, you, you trans out good. That's the fact. Or bus muje many um I, I loved myself, like I caressed myself when I was a kid. I mean, a baby. 
बस वही किया वही याद है बस सारा कुछ भी नहीं याद है कई बार तो आप आप ही हमको टाइम दे रहे थे यू नॉट स्पीकिंग सम एनीथिंग बट देन बिसाइड्स दैट आल्सो आई वाज नॉट एबल टू हियर समटाइम्स व्हाट यू आर स्टार्टिंग व्हाट यू आर सेइंग सो इट वाज ऑल मतलब हमेशा जो होता है भाई गुड दैट्स अ एनीवे यू सो यू वेंट एंड देन यू केम बैक यप सत्या जयपाल वाज डार्क एंड फेल्ट स्लीपी एंड हैवी यप दैट्स द think sleepy yes of course so i think as a baby we sleep a lot so satya priya i felt safe and warm in the room that's that's nice to know that's what we supposed to feel priya isn't it that i wanted to do this session for a very long time because i somehow felt that i needed a womb healing because i was adopted so i don't know my biological parents so i always thought that my period in the womb of my bi- biological mother must be very traumatic because if the child is being given to someone so the child must be getting some kind of rejection from the you know mother or, mm-hmm. so i always thought that somewhere i must be carrying this trauma inside the, my subconscious mind which i have been wanting to do this for a very very long time So I so, think I must have really benefited this uh, session. So what 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 did you experience if you would like to share that? Uh I don't know. I always had this throat issues. I think a lot of emotions the trauma that time must have got gotten stuck in the throat. So as a child when I was growing up I had a lot of tonsils issues. Then now I have thyroid and uh, in between I had some asthma issues. so i somehow think that uh, if i just uh, start thinking meditating i always thought i must be carrying some kind of trauma being separated from the biological mother and uh, so i was really wanting the session i don't know how it has manifested in my life but somewhere i i'm not able to express uh, freely my emotions or somewhere i there is a lot of deep uh, rooted anxiety or insecurity so I was thinking I needed the session. So, how did you feel when you were inside? Uh, I don't know. Not uh, I don't uh, remember much. But yeah, I do. I do feel a sense of more, uh, like more secure now after the session. Somewhere there was some very very deep rooted secure in insecure. That's very nice. That's very nice. Yeah. and monica says yes i was able to unclench my fist inside the womb ah oh, that's very good angry and woman and felt immediate change in my current energies that's really nice to know any questions anything that you want to share you more than welcome saket um, saket sorry yeah. after you please i i didn't feel anything like you know what i was feeling but i i i could sense a lot of discomfort in my mother mm-hmm. like you know like she was crying or she was upset or hurt i don't know a lot of negativity you think i should ask her this to yeah yeah why not why don't you ask her that why were you yeah yeah don't, there's no confirmation you felt it right so what happened specifically that during one of those times she was doing that and that's why the specific reason when when we do it in a group we do a disassociation so we we don't want you to experience it as clearly as you would in an individual session because of the fact that with so many people around and you know you know no ab reaction we don't want that happening in a group so yes you should clarify and you would find something very interesting i assure you thank you sakit uh, this is a recorded session right so if you want yes. to try it again do you think we can do it by ourselves oh yes 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 okay it's going to be on the community healers you can always listen to it and uh, go through it hi sakit um hello everyone thank you hi. so much for the amazing session 
um i think it's going to be really funny if anyone watches the video because i i think my hair was knocking in and out a lot like i was you know going in deep sleep and was like oh no no um i need to wake up so i was like my next being a uh, pulled back few times um mm-hmm. but uh, it was very interesting for me uh, in the sense that um you know going to just the very initial um um 12 weeks one and the 16 weeks there i felt there's another entity talking to me uh, apart from my mom my mom uh, seems like uh, seems like she spoke to me a lot uh, mm-hmm. like she was connecting and bonding with me a lot in the womb and uh, even like her day to day problems it was like um you know that she's kind of talking to me about it and i'm listening listening and and she says you're the only person who's understanding me and it's funny because it happens even now me and my mom connect like that she's like she tells me the same thing so um that uh somehow you get me you know and 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 there's this another entity when my mom's talking to me and um you know finding solace in talking to me in the womb um there's another entity there who's also speaking mm-hmm. and um the entity said that this is your training here to listen and you you will be listening you will be listening a lot and it's mm-hmm. uh it it felt like it like a life purpose to me and it 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 could it's connecting the dots now that i'm talking because um i i work part time in the bank and i work in the contact center so i'm always listening uh <laughs> and i also work part time as a life coach and as you know as a an energy healer uh, so it's like again you know it's the most listening is most important in that right. um so i felt i'm just uh, yeah it's i think it was my womb was my training ground for the correct listening side of things um yeah so oh, yeah that's 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 really really interesting right like i i feel that it is really interesting because you could relate it with the, what's happening and uh, you know where you are at this point of time uh, it would be really you know interesting if you would uh, you know probably confirm that your mother in terms will, of I, uh, yeah. you know whether she used to and and you know as far as i know uh, i know that she would have done that <laughs> yes yes and also all my life it was always like that that you know even people strangers at a bus stop would would want to talk to me and tell me what's happening with their life so mm-hmm. uh right from you know distant family members to uh strangers um i think i've always lent a very good ear to people so it it it's it's strange now that where i see where it's coming from Ah, that's interesting actually <laughs> that's really interesting you. Yeah, you know and then it's good to see uh, you know uh, that's good. now that you're sharing uh, more people would be able to relate to it and figure out that yes this is this makes sense so yep yeah. i'm really happy that you could feel all that yeah thank you yeah thank you. saket uh, can i just uh... yeah priya please so uh, it is very interesting that for i um, mean my friend called me up last night and she told me around 11 o'clock that for the past two days uh, my mother has been visiting her in her dreams mm-hmm. and though she has been trying to say something to her but because she had cold and flu so she said i couldn't really get what she was trying to say and uh, my mother uh, knew her very well because we used to live in the same building like you know and we were very close and um, now the thing is today this session has taken place and uh, in fact renu just um, you know she rem- made me remember that today was the session so is there any connection here like i don't know i mean for the last uh, two days it's like you know she called me up and she said it's very funny why auntie is coming in my dreams and she is trying to say something today is the session is there any connection is there any coincidence it could be like i uh, we we totally believe that uh, you know there are sometimes no coincidences there are reason that- through it from the recording oh, and experience is, uh, uh, she's no more she passed okay. away in 2009 13 okay and, okay okay uh, but you know uh, when i was going through the session also i mm-hmm. felt very very connected it's like i was very loved 
and mm. uh, in her womb and i could feel that warmth yeah. and safety and mm. even when you when i came out and during that early year i mean i was wrapped up in i could see myself wrapped up in a beautiful shawl a white cloth in fact and my mom holding me and she's talking to me so my early days it brought in a lot of joy uh, like you know when i was experiencing it i felt a lot of joy it wasn't as if i felt any kind of hurt or something even the process though i could see that the process was uh, you know kind of uh, a kind of a turmoil for her like you know she was upset definitely it's a birthing process but other than that um, i felt that she was very happy to have me and i could even see my father i mean both of them and i i'm looking at them and i'm a very you know it's hazy it's not even like you know i could but i could see the smiles and uh, my hand my, like you know i was holding them so it's like a very beautiful feeling i got but i don't know if there is any kind of connection between the dreams that my friend had <laughs> and why i didn't get it and to the fact that um, you know I that could... you got to know what you need to know i i would presume that okay okay right and and we 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 have really seen that painting that you've done for it it's a beautiful work oh my god <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you <laughs> thank you malak yes please thank you sake the way lovely process and i i somehow have that you know i always went through just not my process simultaneously also uh, my delivery process and it was like a very intertwined kind of thing where i went through my child's experiences and um, and it is as of now for me the whole space is very calm and very expansive so thank you thank you for that welcome welcome i hope you know i really it feels good when you enjoy the process and uh, uh, rekha shukla uh, and also uh, yeah. just if you if i may yeah yeah please we, please uh, when preeti said about her mom Mm -hmm. uh many a times entities send their message through a person who's willing to receive so it's just her way of reaching her mother maybe reaching out to her and uh yeah that that's what i get and i'd be happy to connect with her if she would like to so that's that's one of the ways that you know entities at times connect through people who are will who have that capacity who have that potency and they deliver their message through them so it's just that your mom that the word and your friend was instrumental in delivering that message thank you so much thank you hello sakit hi arshna ji how are you i'm good sakit it was very nice session very comfortable and happy uh, for me uh, throughout the journey i was feeling very nice very happy and surrounded by good vibes and i could feel everyone around me is very happy but at the various stages like when i was 6 months or a toddler or adolescent i could feel some discomfort in my throat mm -hmm. and bleeding from my left nostril okay I but i don't have any such problem mm -hmm. okay and uh, okay can somebody verify that you had such issues at that age i could ask my mom yeah please do that <laughs> and you know you that that is something that got stuck to you at that point of time and you might have actually experienced it so mm -hmm. why not go ahead and ask it and let us know also yeah definitely sure it was a very nice session wonderful thank session. you very much thank you very much and okay we have uh, yeah rekha shukla i was just smiling and felt that watching a nice movie kind of experience yes it's it's actually uh, because we had that disassociation so it's like a nice movie kind of experience that's what we wanted to give you and not feel the process itself kalyani hi hi uh sakit thank you for the session 
Uh, I have a question. Uh, is it possible that this uh, this hypnotherapy or what do you call it? Hypnotherapy, right? Yeah. Uh, so would it be uh, affected if someone is already having preconceived notions or whatever heard about related to my birth or, you know, around around that period, whatever has happened? Definitely. Definitely. So, definitely. Okay. So I came into the session with some, I mean, the colored thing, uh, you know, uh, where I already know through my relatives or uh, what was my mom's state of mind or physical state, or, I mean, overall experience around those nine months or the first year of marriage, you know. So I, I have a lot of negative emotions related to that period or in fact, uh, for a long time, my entire childhood in fact. So, but I still came into the session with tried to come with an open mind and went with the flow. Uh, the moment you asked to, I mean, that one, the number five you said, and you have to enter the womb, the ball, um, the voice that came from behind or wherever from inside was danger. Mm -hmm. And my heart started beating so very fast. Uh, I, I could hear it. And but then after that, I just, I, I, it was easier because then I was seeing it as a third person, like, you know, like you intended it to be. Uh, after that, I mean, I, I, do, I didn't see too many things or have any, uh, too many sensations per se. Uh, the best part of it was when the child came out. I mean, I came out of the, I was birthed. And my actual birthing experience, the, the time I came into this world, is very, it's a very funny account. So I have that happy memory as it is stored in my brain, you know. So I related it to that and I comforted myself at that age. So it ended very happily. So I hope this, I mean, I carry this with me along. Uh, but I would like to know if I need if I already know I need to address this, so do I need to do more personal sessions with you? Or? So that, that would be totally, totally your decision. If you feel like that you need to, yes, you need to resolve something and you would like to do something. Yes, please go ahead okay. and have a session because okay. definitely, definitely, you know, the way the hypnosis works is our deep rooted emotions, we disassociate and desensitize from the very cause itself. So whatever we have been ca ca carrying over a period of time, that is no longer there. And that's that's a major change that happens. Okay. All right. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, may I? Uh, yes, please. yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you so much for this wonderful session. I've been uh, trying to join a lot of sessions conducted by community healers, but it's never happened until today. So I guess today was the day for me. Thank you, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, just like Kalyani said, yeah, my experience uh, today with whatever we did was really not nice. In fact, from the, from the moment you said inception, the first thing that came to my mind was trapped. Uh, why am I here? I'm not supposed to be here. And this is not the place, this is not the family I'm supposed to be born into. So uh, I really don't make what, what it is. And a lot of suffocation actually inside the womb from then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I think around the age of three or four months, I decided like, no, let's go with it. Let's see what it leads <laughs> okay. to. That's a thought which came. Yeah, so you and, could have actually, because uh, I, I totally go with that. Because uh, when, when we're younger, uh, the, the connect is still there that we the knowledge that we have that we why we are born here why we are supposed to uh, you know what we are supposed to do so probably uh, you know once you had certain other notions but your guides or your masters decided that you need to experience it mm -hmm. and then you said okay oh god what i'm trapped i really don't want to experience it but they knew that you would decide that at one point of time you'll say, oh, forget it. I'm going to go and nail, go it and do it. So that's that's probably, that's what happened. So yes. yes. 
So uh, another thing is uh, you were asking about why we decided to be born as a male or female. So that that's something which made me think, and it was like being a female is good for my karmic journey. And so this this birth of mine is meant to clear the karmic baggage. Uh, I'm not going into that, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I've covered a lot in that. But yeah, the then after that the birthing process uh, from whatever I've spoken to my mom. Uh, because I, I know I, I used to carry a lot of anger issues. And I think it's because of what she has been carrying in those nine months. Mm -hmm. She's had a lot of anger issues and family related and, you know, and the sadness. So I think a lot of it has come to me. Uh, quite a bit of it have given up. But uh, yes, dealt with that part of it. And when you asked to go into adolescence, it was at 12 years, which I saw myself and not at all happy. So I'm not able to understand why. So, uh, you know, what our unconscious shows us, shows us, that's that's really interesting. You know, because if you consciously would look at it, you would find no reason that why you should have been unhappy at that point of time. Mm -hmm. So, and now that you have experienced it unconsciously, there is something at that point of time that need resolution. It could be a very minor issue or could be a very major one. But the fact is that your unconscious chose to show you that this is the point where you need to go and resolve something. Okay. So that's the age of 12 then? Yeah. Figure out what anything important happened, anything that you experienced at that point of time, in immediate family, friends, or anything around you. Mm. Oh, is it me or everybody else? I think I got. Sorry, I, I, I couldn't tell you the last because I had some trouble. Yeah, sorry. I said, apart from running away from home, there was nothing great at that time. That's only running away from home. <laughs> yes. Oh, so that, that's, that, that, oh, that explains that something I've been planning on that time. <laughs> we have to exchange notes. <laughs> you know, because you... that thought is even there today even that thought is even strong today despite this many years it's very strong today also if somebody said let's go yes i'm ready <laughs> that's interesting that's really interesting <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but but i guess uh, another thing i felt in the womb is i was happy and content and alone that is what which kept striking me all along for mm -hmm. those nine months that I was alone and I was happy and content, I didn't want to be born. Mm. So, alas, well, <laughs> destiny had other plans. <laughs> yes. yes, no regrets. <laughs> that's that's, that's so really much. interesting. That's really interesting. That's why I said, you know, share because each one of you would have experienced it totally different. Okay, Renu has a question. Just curious, does anyone have a twin hair? I guess no. Yep. I've always but, thought uh, Kalyani and I look very similar. <laughs> no? Yeah. Oh, well, she's not your sister, sir? <laughs> A twin? <laughs> Are you not twins? I thought you were twins. <laughs> yeah. I, I already pulled that joke. So yep. anybody else who would like to share something? Or ask something more than welcome. We know you're muted in case you're talking. <laughs> yeah, I I wanted to ask Saket if he has anybody's experience who's been a tomb for the similar. I mean, been a twin and in the womb for the similar kind of. You session. know, you could do a very interesting kind of ABC analysis for that. Get two twins to you know to go through the experience, and if both of them have completely different experiences. <laughs> It would be very interesting. <laughs> they, they would have actually totally different experiences. Likely, yeah. Likely. But yeah. anyway, it would be but fun do to you, do it. And why do you know anyone? No, I haven't done. Because uh, hypnosis firmly believes that it's the belief system that forms uh, the distortions that we have. So when we are in conception, everything and anything that we are experiencing, we have already have some kind of system which we are carrying over from our past birth. So we experience, we choose to experience everything differently in the womb itself. Hence, different experience. 
like i don't want to be born and then okay now that i am let's go ahead with it my god <laughs> Malni finally decided that it's better to go have some fun in this real world. Yeah, it's better to be done with it. <laughs> Good. I think I have answered. Uh, we've got one. Please go ahead. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm actually Prachi. The name is wrong on the screen. and i just want to thank saket first for a lovely session and uh, i didn't experience much in the sense that i uh, didn't really see anything but throughout the whole meditation i felt like i was enveloped in a dark and safe space but i could feel um, you know like like you said uh, that uh, we are already conditioned to feel certain things so i my mom had often spoken to me about what it was like when she was pregnant so i could sense a little bit of that and um, i just want to share something that i felt that when you were counting from uh, you know 4 weeks to 42 weeks gradually uh, it felt as if i mean although i was in a dark space there was some sort of a light i mean some sort of a lightness started from my lower body and by the time i was at 42 weeks and i had taken birth that you know the, the the light kind of gradually uh ascended and then it was at the top of my head and i even felt some sort of pressure at the top of my head so um i just wanted to share so, that with so you. that's that's very very interesting thing because uh, typically the tibetans believe that uh, when the soul comes down initially it comes down and then it then it moves back and it stays at about uh, feet and a half above your head Wow. So your physical body is in the soul. Your soul is not in the physical body. Wow. I mean that's. Uh, I mean I definitely felt that. So I was actually a little exhilarated also because I'm not too good with meditations and all of that. And also one more thing I'd like to ask you was you were just saying that uh, we experience things as per our uh, past life conditioning. so i wanted to ask uh, that definitely when we are in our mother's womb then uh, whatever she is going through it will have an impact on us that's why they say that you know you're supposed to eat well and be in a good environment but could it be that you know our past life conditioning is so strong that even if our mother is going through say certain negative emotions we are not as affected by it and when we come out of the womb we are still able to maintain like like say let's say my definitely 100% you because because of the fact that you have certain filters certain protections built in you would totally be unaffected by the process thank you so much and thank you for the meditation it was really nice welcome over to you sid okay see you bye <laughs> bye bye guys <laughs> thanks so much sakit for this it was it, it was good and as usual your uh, your sessions are uh, very interesting and uh, quite different from the usual so thank you for that so guys if if you have something you'd like to talk to sakit again please please book a one on one with him and um, and if you're not a member of community healers as yet please take a look at the text uh, the chat and you'll find the link in there and please do join is an interesting community and we do this every saturday at 4 o'clock if you find yourself not being able to make it just set an alarm every saturday 4 o'clock aur phir check kar lijiye agar attend karna hai nahi karna hai time hai nahi hai and all those things but at least you'll know so please do that look forward to seeing you once again sake thank you so much for giving your time as you always thank do you. and uh, see you guys you have a lovely day see week. you guys bye bye thank you bye bye thank okay. you thank you everyone Bye, bye, Manvi. Bye. Bye, Sanjeev. Thank you. Thanks to everyone. Thank you. Hi, Sakit. Thanks, thanks. You said, how's it? Very good, sir. Abhi aisa karte rokhe, mere reputation down ho gayi hai. Kis baat mein hoye? Ki bhagwan. Because you do such awesome stuff. Ah. You do what an awesome stuff. No, no, no. This is this is awesome. This is this is very very interesting. I've got so much to learn from you in this context. 
and this is very interesting stuff good 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 i'm happy that we could get some uh, you know people to experience the way they did experience so that's no, that's when you really think nice. about it when you think about it you'll fi- you find that uh, that uh, that ultimately uh, someone might call these experiences fictitious or a figment of the imagination and all of those things but ultimately if they're playing a therapeutic role in resolving our present how does it really matter where they're coming from it doesn't matter so, and uh, some you know i've done a couple of them and i've done at least two of them where people have gone back and verified oh very cool very cool very cool that so, that's what i'm looking for that's very interesting so then how do you you know they were not supposed to know something and they would they did experience something and they were able to actually get back and say yes this was the reason that mm-hmm. they experienced it was Very confirmed and then what do you say about that but i still believe the same that as long as uh, you know we're resolving issue it really doesn't matter that if our uh, conscious is creating something <laughs> or it's or it's actual i don't i'm care. interested in the therapeutic outcome ultimately so exactly. uh, Uh, no 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 stake in between and sonali you by the way aap uh, jab baithi thi beech mein aap aage lean kar rahe the aise kuch karna, karna tha aapko and i thought she is going to fall i thought i'll be sonali ki and then but she just went ahead and she came up she wanted to pick up something or something like that <laughs> interesting chalo sir you take care right sir, thank you very much thank you bye 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 bye